Tearing in at number 19, it's Umerangi Generation. Loud, raw and angry, this urban photography sandbox is an anti-colonial protest wrapped in Jet Set Radio and Evangelion. Packing a handheld film camera, you're tasked with filling out photo bounties, making ends meet and finding art even as the whole world comes tumbling down. Oof, but what a camera it is. Boomerangi's knackered shutterbox is wonderfully tactile, lenses swapping in and out with satisfying clicks, flash bulbs humming after each shot. It's the kind of thing I want to pull out and bring into other game worlds. You know, maybe start snapping around City 17 or one of No Man's Sky's quintillion planets. But as it stands, Taronga's no a bad place to be stuck with it. See, Umerangi may not sport Hitman 3's complex AI routines, but every level feels just as grounded. Rooftop parties and bustling subway stations hum with life. Every candid snap of a stranger tells a story of some deadbeat dad, VR-addled waster, or bloodied mech pilot just trying to make their way through this deeply relatable apocalypse. See. Umerangi might take place in a world full of giant robots duking it out with squid-like kaiju, but its tensions are our tensions. Developed by Maori artist Veselikov, Umerangi is scathing of the global response to the Australian wildfires the other year. The word Umerangi itself meaning red sky in the developer's native tongue. An occupying force pulls your neighbours and friends up to fight their war and oppresses people with curfews and giant concrete walls. Creating art in this world is a scream against colonial intervention and ignorance. And that tone becomes impossible to ignore once the game's macro DLC rolls in. Imrangi's final stages make the games industry's fretting over being seen as political look like abject cowardice. By the climax, you're stepping into scenes pulled straight out of recent worldwide protests. Walled, plastered and familiar slogans that shout at the player as much as the infection oppressors. That macro closes the loop on Jet Set Radio with spray cans and roller skates feels somewhat apt, cranking that game's anti-authoritarian themes into overdrive. Umerangi Generation is an unabashed, unashamed, unforgiving piece of protest art, and it's one of the most important games in recent years because of it.